in this video we are going to be solving another question on uh, actually a past paper question on equations of circles and this I should mention is from May June 2020 paper 1 variant 1 okay so let's get straight to it so it says here and this by the way I should also mention that uh, not only involves equation of circles but also has a bit of uh, transformation in it okay so we'll see uh, about that when we get to it okay so it says here find the coordinates of the points a and b are minus 1 minus 2 and 7 4 respectively find the equation of the circle for which a b is a diameter okay so that's pretty simple we have the diameter and we need to find the equation of the circle as you know if you want to find out the equation of a circle you need two things one is the center and the other is the diameter uh, the radius okay so let's let's uh, focus on getting the center so if i have again um let's let's make a rough sketch of uh, where these points are going to be so minus one and minus two means that we are in the negative x is negative and y is negative also so that means we're in the third quadrant so minus one minus two somewhere over here seven four means we're in the first quadrant so let's say seven and uh, let's say here's four okay so this is what we're looking at the circle that the question is talking about has basically this these two points joined to make the diameter of the circle so let's quickly make a rough so i mean let's let's make a circle also while we're at it so there you yeah there you go okay now let's uh, let's get the center sorted out so we just need to find the midpoint because you know that's that's where the center is going to be so minus one plus seven upon two comma minus two plus four upon two so minus one plus seven is six six upon two is three minus two plus four is two two upon two is one so now that we have the center that means what's left to do is to find the radius and again you can use the center and any point of in any point a or b to find the radius or if you find end up finding out the distance of a b that means you have the diameter all you got to do is divide by two to get the radius so i'm going to use the center and uh, with this point i think i'm going to go with seven four so three one and seven four are the two points that i'm going to use so let's let's get the radius sorted out so r square is going to be equal to seven minus three squared plus four minus 1 the whole thing squared so 7 minus 3 is 4 square of actually okay there's no need to write the square root here so 7 minus 3 is 4 the square of which is 16 4 minus 1 is 3 square of which is 9 r squared is equal to 25 so now we have all the ingredients let's just put them together x minus 3 the whole thing squared plus y minus 1 the whole thing squared equals to 25 is the equation of the circle which has center c uh center um yeah center 3 1 um and um, 5 as its radius or a b as its diameter anyway so that's that let's do part b part b says find the equation of the tangent t to circle c at the point p okay so i'm just going to drag this this thing down actually i'm not going to drag it i'm just going to copy paste it so let's do that let's do just that there you go let me just enlarge it slightly let's extend the x y axis a little and x axis also okay so here's the thing what you and i have to do is we have to find the equation of the tangent t to circle c at uh, the point b so that means this, somewhere over here we will have a tangent okay let's use the color green for that and let's use a solid line okay so this line that you see the line that i'm making in green our job is to find its equation so that shouldn't be too difficult we have the coordinates of a and they were minus 1, minus 2, if I remember correctly, just to be on the safe side. Let's just copy them down. Yep, minus 1, minus 2, and 7, 4. And we have the coordinates of B, 7, 4. Okay, now, this, since it's tangent to the circle at B, so that means it's, it has to be perpendicular uh, to the diameter or the radius, same thing. So, what I need to do is I need to find out the gradient of the line AB. And the objective is so that I can take the reciprocal of it. So, 4, minus, minus 2 over 7 minus minus 1 so 4 minus minus 2 is 6 7 minus minus 1 is 8 so we're looking at 3 upon 4 and that makes sense it's a positive sloping line so the gradient of the tangent so i'm just going to write t 
is going to be minus 4 upon 3 and the point that I'm going to be using obviously has to be the point B which has coordinate 7 comma 4 so let's put this information together and obtain the equation so we're looking at y minus 4 equals to minus 4 upon 3 x minus 7 now let's cross multiply so we're looking at 3y minus 12 equals to minus 4x plus 28 so now we're looking at 3y plus 4x equals to 28 plus 12 which is equal to 30 40 yeah 40 and there you go i'm just going to highlight the final answer so it stands out this is the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point um b yeah there you go okay now in part C, it says, find the equation of the circle, which is the reflection of circle C in the line D. Okay, so we have to find the equation of the circle, which is a reflection of the circle C in the line D. Okay, so let me just copy paste the previous uh, diagram. Yeah, there you go. So line D is basically this line that we just made in green. Okay yep and the equation that we have to find is basically of the circle which is reflected along this line okay so let me just drag this oops sorry yeah let me just drag this over here so i have some room for working yeah okay so when we reflect an object we know that's uh that's isometric that basically means that the size and the shape is not going to change okay it's only the position that changes and uh, also the orientation but that really doesn't matter it's a circle so even after you reflect it it will it, it doesn't matter it's just the position that changes anyway so the point is the reason why i'm saying that is because the radius will remain the same so that means the only thing that's going to change is the center so that means what we have to do is we just have to find the new center so it's going to be x minus something and then y minus something the whole thing squared obviously it can turn into plus later on but that is something we'll find out later and the radius as i mentioned is going to be 5 which means r squared is 25. now if you remember in the introductory video i pointed out something i said that if you have a circle so from any point on the circumference to the center whatever movement it is that takes you from that particular point to the center is going to be the same as from that center to the to the uh, to the other end point of the circle uh, other end point that's on the circumference so basically if you have the line a b so whatever it is that you have to do from to get from a to o which is the center i should mark this as the center is the same as what you have to do to get from o to b okay so let's 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 see what that movement is basically so in other words what i'm doing is i'm just trying to find out what vector a o is now if we go back point a has coordinates minus one and minus two and the center that we found out had coordinates three and one okay so three one all right i'll just write it over here three comma one okay and b had coordinates seven four okay so what that means is that if i'm at a and i'm going to o so that means from minus one to positive three is four units towards the right and from minus two to positive one is three units up yeah so four to the right and three up so four right and three up and if you notice that's pretty much the same from o to b so it's from three to seven is four to the right again so that's four right and from one to four from y coordinate one to y coordinate four is three up so that means when you're at b and you want to get to the center of the reflected circle which i've just labeled x so that means when you're at seven what you got to do is you got to move four units towards the right so that means the new x coordinate i should probably uh, change this to purple yeah that means to get to the new x coordinate or to get to the x coordinate of the center you need to add four to seven so what's four plus seven that's eleven so that means the x coordinate of the center is eleven and if you want to get from the y coordinate of b to the y coordinate of the center you need to add 3 to the y coordinate so that means 4 plus 3 is going to be 7 so what i've done here is i've moved four units towards the right and three units up so that means x increases by 4 and y increases by 3 so from 7 when x increases by 4 it becomes 11 and from 4 when y increases by 3 it becomes 7. 
So now we have the coordinates of the center. They're 11 and 7. And there you go. Uh, what do you need to write? You need to write x minus 11, the whole thing squared, plus y minus 7, the whole thing squared, equals to 25. And there you go. That's it. This is the working that you have to show to get your marks. And this right here is your final, final answer. Now, if you don't like the idea of using this whole vector thing too much, then uh, here's another method which you can use. And that is, if you look at this line that I'm drawing here, so you'll notice that this line runs from the center of uh, the previous circle, circle C, to the center of the reflected circle, okay, uh, to X, which is basically what I've labeled as the center of the reflected circle. So if you notice here, now, although we already have the coordinates of x, which are 11 and 7, so let's ignore that. Let's say we don't have the coordinates of uh, x, so let's just call them x and y. So that way, b ends up being the midpoint of the center of the previous circle and the reflected circle. So here's here's what's going on. So, so o, which I've labeled as the center of circle c, which has coordinates 3, 1, and b is exactly in between the center of the reflect of the previous circle and the center of the reflected circles which has coordinates x and y so you can use the concept of midpoint also to get your hands on the center of uh, the reflected circle so let's let's see how that works so x plus 3 upon 2 comma y plus 1 upon 2 okay so i'm using these two and finding out their midpoint is basically equal to 7 comma 4. so let's see how that works so we're looking at x plus 3 upon 2 equals to 7 or y plus 1 upon 2 equals to 4. So that means x is equal to 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 3 is 11 again. And um, actually, yeah, y equals to 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So again, you get the exact same points as your center, 11 and 7. And you can use this method also. But I'll leave that up to you. Uh, it's, it's important to have a grip on both the concepts equally well so that you know whatever clicks first you can use that anyway so that brings me to the end of this video i hope you understood both the ways of doing this question well and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video in which i'll solve another question so if you have any questions you want me to solve do mention in the comment section so i'll see you guys then until then take care bye bye